Yo, Tasker. It can take your home assistant automations to the next level. Let me show you how. If you've been on home automation for a while, you might have heard of Tasker. It's my favorite Android app and allows you to automate just about anything on your phone. Before I jump into things too much, I want to apologize to any iPhone or Windows phone users. Especially Windows phone users, man. Ugh. RIP. This video is not going to be directly relevant to you guys. However, the HTTP POST command I'm about to show you is universal, and you can probably use it with other automation apps besides Tasker. So, you're probably wondering, well, Ben, what the heck can I even do with my phone and Home Assistant? Well, it can actually do a ton. Tasker can call any service inside of Home Assistant, such as initiating a script, or turning on a light, or turning off a switch, or even stopping your media players. Tasker can send sensor information to Home Assistant, things like your phone's battery life, or its orientation, or ambient light, or anything like that. Being able to call any Home Assistant service from Tasker, as well as being able to post sensor information, allows you to come up with some really crazy automations. Basically, if you can think it, it can be done. Getting started with Tasker is really straightforward. A Tasker automation has two main parts, an event that needs to happen, and then a task to be executed. The easiest way to understand this is just to jump in and make our first automation. Before we do that, I want to create a new project tab. To do that, press and hold the question mark icon in the lower right hand side, and then press and hold on the home icon in the lower left hand side, and select add. Type any name that you'd like. To create our first automation, make sure you're on the profiles tab, and press the plus icon in the lower right hand side. You can browse this list for available items you can automate and press the return icon in the top bar to return to the previous screen. For the sample automation, I want to turn on a light when I shake my phone. To do this, press event, sensor, and then shake. I'll leave the default settings and then press the tasker gear in the top left hand side. Now I'll create a new task. Give the task any name that you'd like. In this case, I'm going to call it light on. Press the plus icon and then select the action that you would like to occur when the automation is executed. In this case, I'm going to select HTTP POST. You can search for it in the filter bar. Next, we'll need to add the information for your Home Assistant instance. To save some time, I'm going to paste this. It's HTTP colon slash slash your Home Assistant IP address colon the port number and then forward slash API, and then forward slash services. Type the name of the service you're trying to call, and then question mark, API underscore password, and then your home assistant password. If you're unsure about the services name, you can open your home assistant user interface and go to the services developer tool. On the right hand side, you'll see the list of available services. In this case, I'm trying to turn a light on, so I'll use the light forward slash turn on service. Going back to Tasker, I'll leave the path field blank, and then in the data forward slash file field, I'm going to type the JSON command needed for that service. Again, if you're not familiar with what this is, go back to your Home Assistant UI and go to the Services Developer tool, and then select the service that you want to control. To use the light that I'm interested in, I use the following JSON command. I'll specify an entity ID, and then a brightness, and then the color. If I press the Call Service button now, the light should come on. Bam. I'll type the same JSON command in the data forward slash file field in Tasker. I'll leave the cookies and user agent fields blank and leave the timeout to 10. In the content type field, I'll type application forward slash JSON. I'll leave the output file field blank as well and leave trust certificate, continue task after error, and label unchecked. And that's it. We're done. Press the Tasker gear in the top left hand corner to accept the task. Press the Tasker gear again to return to your task screen. Now we'll go back to the Profiles tab and make sure everything's set up correctly. As we can see, when we shake our phone left to right, it'll initiate the light on task. You can rename this by pressing and holding and then pressing the letter A in the top bar. I'll call this profile light on. And that's it. We've just created our first automation. There's one more thing we need to do. We need to return to the home screen. It's important to note that a Tasker automation is not effective until after you back out of the Tasker app. Next, I want to show you how to send sensor information from Tasker to Home Assistant. To do this, open Tasker and go back to the Profiles tab. I'm going to create a sample automation that sends my phone's battery life every 15 minutes. To do this, I'll press the Profiles tab and then press the plus icon. Then I'll select Time, and instead of having From and To checked, I'll just have Repeat. And I'll say Repeat every 15 
minutes. Then I'll press the tasker gear in the top left corner and create a new task. I'm going to call this sensor send. Just like before, I'll press the plus icon and then go to the HTTP POST command. Unlike before, when we were calling a service, I'm going to use the HTTP sensor component. To get more information on this, go to your web browser and go to the Home Assistant Components page, and then go to the HTTP sensor component. This page outlines the information we need to send from Tasker to Home Assistant. Going back to Tasker, I'll type the server information similarly as we did before. However, this time, after the port number, I'll say forward slash API, forward slash states, and then I'll say forward slash sensor dot whatever the name of the sensor I want to create. I'll leave the path field blank, and then in the data forward slash file field, I'll type the command as defined in the HTTP sensor component page. If you haven't used Tasker before, the percent sign signifies that the following word is a variable inside of Tasker. You can access the list of available variables by pressing the tag icon. You can select any of the variables on the list, and it'll add it to your sensor value. In this case, I'm only interested in my phone's battery, so I'll leave it as defined here. One of the neat things about the HTTP sensor component is that you can find a friendly name and icon and unit of measurement all from Tasker. You don't need to add anything to your Home Assistant configuration.yaml file. Continuing on, I'll leave cookies in the user agent fields blank, and I'll leave the timeout to 10. In the content type field, I'll change this to application forward slash JSON. The output file field I'll leave blank, and I'll leave trust any certificate, continue task after error, and label all unchecked. Next, I'll press the task or gear in the top left hand corner, and then I'll press it again, and this should return me back to the main tasker page. If I go to the profiles tab, I can see that the automation has been successfully created. I'll rename this to battery send. Next, I'll press the return key on my phone to return to my home page. And that's it. In 15 minutes, it should send your phone's battery life to Home Assistant. If you open your Home Assistant user interface, your sensor should show up. Nice. Next, I want to show you how to import project into Tasker. To make your life a little easier, I'm going to share my project so you can import it directly into Tasker without needing to recreate every step. I've renamed the project HA Tasker. All you need to do is press and hold anywhere on the bottom row, and then select Import. Then navigate to the project file and select it. And that's it. That's all you need to do. You can change the relevant information, and it should work for your Home Assistant instance. Now you can get tricky with your automations. Now, with the flick of your phone, you can control anything in your house. So I hope this video inspires you guys to get started using Tasker with Home Assistant. Tasker is a phenomenal app, and when combined with Home Assistant, allows you to take your automations to a new level. Like, seriously. People are going to come over and think you're crazy because when you get a phone call from your mom, it's going to turn off your lights, pause your TV, and people are going to be like, wow, you're crazy. If you like this video, subscribe and share it. The bigger this channel gets, the more community we'll have. And the more community we have, the more people will have sharing their ideas. And innovation comes from people sharing their ideas. So if you want to see cooler stuff in the home automation game, we got to get more people interested. And ultimately, that's why I do this, to inspire more people. Because it's probably going to be their ideas that change the game, not mine. If you have any questions or get stuck, let me know. I'm happy to help however I can. Happy automating. Cheers. P.S. For those of you who stuck around to the end of this, I have a special treat for you. Or should I say for me? You probably already know this is a thing, but what I'm about to show you is my favorite automation of all time. Check this out. Alexa, open Domino's and place my easy order. It looks like your easy order is a delivery and contains two products for $17.53. Your order is in the oven.